Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries and some more bag hauls of vintage jewelry and some more great interesting silver. Gonna get started. Yes. Here is a southwestern -y type of earring clip on. It isn't bad looking. I don't like Southwestern too much. Not my style. Um, I do like Native American pieces. I do like turquoise, but it's okay. I don't, I don't mind it. This is pretty. Big hollow metal heart. I need another tester to see if I can Maybe it'll, it's silver. It doesn't seem silver to me, but it's worth testing, I guess. It's very nice. I like the um, the pattern. Let's see. This looks to be handmade to me. Is that... What does that say? Something 1998, maybe? Hmm. I was gonna say George Washington, but no, I don't think that's it. Let's see. These have kind of an agate clip on. With some, it looks like natural stone and maybe some wood or bone. Put that to the side, see if they have a matching one. This is interesting. I think this is a belt, actually, not a necklace. But you can do whatever you want with it. Yeah, that's definitely a, a belt. It's super long. It's pretty. Very nice. I guess you would consider this Southwestern. Looking to see if there's a tag anywhere. Or a stamp or something. Nope. That's nice. This has a lot of glue residue on it. Definitely didn't want that falling out. I forgot the name of that stone, but unfortunately there's so much resin or glue or something on there. I don't know if you could recover that. This is so cute. Very cute. I don't know what that is in the middle. I guess it's just some kind of... Um, some plastic with some metal flake in it. I don't know if there's a special name for that. There's some verdigris, I think, on there. Maybe it's gold filled. It says... Is it rocky? Rongy? Yep, it is gold filled. Might not be vertigra then. This is cute. Open it. Nothing in there. Let me see what it says. Ooh. That's gold filled too. Cute. I like it. Adorable. I bought containers. Where are they? Oh. Um, I bought some of these. So, so I can put stuff away and get organized and put little pendants like that in a place where I can find them again. So hopefully I won't misplace the containers. I don't think so. This is a little pierced earring with a, looks like a faux pearl. Um... 
guess this was part of a brooch. No more. J S A was attached to something. Oh, here's another one. Those are hefty. What is that? Oh, I thought it was, um, you know, like a magnifying glass or something. Trafari. Those are cool. I've never seen these before. Cool. I hope I have the other one. What is that? Oh. Kind of the southwestern. It's the Duple. Those probably look cool on. Here's another one. Nice. Well, this is like one of those collars, right? It's probably cute on. I keep freaking out because I saw a spider. Now everything that I keep thinking something's touching my feet. Oh, gosh. I'll be okay. Okay. This goes... Wait. Oh, there must have been another earring to the front. Cool. Put that to the side. Okay. Let's not get distracted. We were looking at this. And... Trying to figure out if it's broken. And I think it is. Right? Because it goes down, down, down. And that side. No, I guess I'm okay. That's probably so cute on with a black dress or something. Is it vintage? No. no it could be from the 90s. It's cute. I like it. This is a piece of something. That earring is um, a little messed up, but it says T-H-A-I Sterling. It says 925. Well, maybe it's super duper light. I don't know. I'm going to have to check that out. Here's another one of these. I had one in like a gold med uh, gold medal, gun medal, and smooshed up here. I think somebody told me QVC or something. Or maybe I'm thinking of the wrong one. Oh, here's another gold filled earring. Back to a watch. Um... This might be something that was inserted into a watch. Maybe? Oh, I don't know. What is that? Don't know. Uh-oh. Looks a little bit tangly here. Uh, looks like a leather button. Here's a little earring. A little rose gold Christmas bow earring. Let's find the other one. Oh, here it is. These are cute. I love uh, rose gold. Even if it's modern, vintage, real rose gold, that would be nice. But they're cute. All bling. It's a dogwood. I don't know if it came this way or somebody painted it. It's got like a pearlescent look to it. And some gold. Cool. A woven mother of pearl little disc bracelet. What is that? feel like I'm going to have tangles in my future. Maybe. Maybe not. I just want to see what this is. That's cool. Oh, it's got these. 
feel like I'm too up close or something, is it? It's a long necklace with a big lobster claw. Is that Chico's? I used to never find Chico's. Everybody found Chico's. Now I always find it. It's good stuff. Never been in the Chico's. There's one at the mall. These, I don't know if they're supposed to be a little champagne-y color, because obviously they're not vintage. So I don't know if they're discolored or it's just me. But this is pretty. I bet that looks nice all of them. Can you see the whole thing? I don't know why I feel like I'm so up close, but it's very long. I'm sure you can shorten it a little bit because it's got some links there. Cool. These are pretty. Uh, some Leah Sophia type earrings hanging on for life. I don't see any name, but these are pretty. With little red stones. Initially, I don't see anything off the bat, but I'll keep looking. One of these, I can always use these because, and these, because I'm always finding stuff that needs them. What is that? Pretty little stones on that. Does it say something or is it me? Probably me. Yeah, they're worn, but they're pretty. I like the little stones on it. Here's another one of those earrings. And they're really not bad. I mean, they're just not my style, but somebody's going to like them, I guess. This is a little bit... Yeah, look at that. That's bound to get tangled up. But I like this chain. Very smooth. It's newer, but... Like I said, I could always use chains, chains for those pendants I run across, to, and I can't get it open. Well, that's not good. Shoot. Well, that other one was part of an earring like this. Oh no. Maybe we should just get this big necklace out of the way. Some kind of statement necklace here. I feel like a wire necklace or something attached to it. Maybe, maybe not. It's a broken necklace. Yeah, you see the wire? One of those wire necklaces? Why they're so darn hard to get untangled? I don't know. Okay, here we go. Blue and green. That's a pretty statement necklace. And it is made by... I guess... Did someone tell me what that was? It wasn't Trafari. It was Talbots or something like that. I don't think we have one of those here. But it's pretty. Does anybody wear them anymore? That I don't know. I don't see too many of them like that with the big rhinestones in them. I don't really see them too much as far as people wearing them, I should say. I don't know. This has got some sea life. And a big clasp, which leads me to believe maybe it is Chico's, maybe? Not seeing anything. Okay, that's a big tangle of stuff, but looks like it has, um, like I said, sea life. Oh, this is pretty. It's actually made very nicely. It's got the fish, it's got the, um, the nautical, let me see back here, the nautical knots and fish and the anchor and a nice seahorse and some shells done very nicely. 
can't get more beachy than that. Oh, this is really not nice. It's done <gasps> a lobster. Nice shell. Pretty. That's really nice. Very well done. Here's some red beads, plastic. More sea life. Oh, I think this is the um, matching bracelet. Oh, it's magnetic. Cool. Is it? Yep. Oh, look, it's even got little bubbles. Very pretty. Cool, a set. Little earring. I think this is a big mess right here. Yeah, there's a lot of... You know what it is? This string necklace, I think. Here's another sea life type thing. Oceany, beachy. Do you think they're matching earrings? No. Oh, this is a necklace, silly. Um, oh, Israel, sterling. Cool. Very nice. I just don't like the cord. First of all, it's it's not that bad. I mean, it's the waxed cord. It's not uncomfortable to wear. But I just wonder, I'm sure you could, oh, you could take that off, definitely. 925, you could take that off and wear it with a sterling uh, chain. Okay, well, it's attached to this, so we'll get that done later. This is a nice chain, but I, for the life of me, cannot open this. It's so stuck. And this culprit here doesn't want to let anything go. There's a cute little locket. This twisty thing. Oy. Oh, I think it says love. Cute. But yeah, we won't spend any more time with that because it's really not working out. This looks like something from Avon. All right, I'm gonna put that to the side and um, do that later. What is that? Ooh, Italy. Oh, silver. Well, it should be tested when, when found in the pile, but since it was in a big knot, it's possible that it is sterling. I just didn't want to bother, um, you know, unknotting it. This is cute. A little love, and you could put the the birthstones on there. But the rest of it, uh, we're going to have to do another time because, you know, you didn't tune in to watch Untangling. And if you did, you're welcome. <laughs> That's cute. All right, well, we're gonna untangle that later. There's just a bunch of little backs and stuff. Oh. These are nice. Okay, next. Oopsie. That's why I need those backs, because that, that needs a back. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, that's just a string. Nice fossil watch. Fossil, ooh, it's new too. They make nice watches. I think I might have to put a battery in that because I like it. 
Something's missing off of here. I guess it had a dangly. You can wear it as a pin or an enhancer. Or you could just, you could take that off. I like that. With that gold metallic. Very pretty. Not seeing any name, but it's cool. This is, I guess it's supposed to look like Marcosite, but I don't believe it is. It just looks like bumpy. It has the green enamel, but it's nice. I like it. Oh, I thought this was a pin. It's a necklace. Yeah. Not bad. It just seems like it's missing something, you know? I don't think it had stones in there, but could use it. S, oh, one of those tie clips, Swank. I've never seen one on a tie. I have to try it out. I do have ties. I, I gotta look, because that's interesting. Uh, mulatto? Is that what that says at the bottom? Mulatto. Yes, just a plain white mulatto. This is... I think I see two, oh, V, Via, V, is that a V, W? Oh, Pierre Cardin? Or maybe this is just Pierre Cardin. Can't talk. Little wooden beads. Is that part of it? Yes. Little colorful beads. And little seeds, maybe. Here is a eagle. Like, kind of, I would say pewter. It's got a pewter feel to it. And a chain, a very dirty chain. A watch attached to... Oh, I saw this in the bag. This watch. Yes, I know what it is. I know it's attached to this swirly thing. This looks like... I thought it was, um... Maybe Monet, but it's not. It's pretty, though. This is a nice Brighton watch. Brighton. Rosarita. Nice. I don't know if I'd feel safe wearing it on a toggle. I'm not crazy about the toggles, but if I have that silver bracelet on. I haven't taken it off. It's nice, though. Needs a battery, I bet. It's a little worn, but if it works, hey. This is funny because like two years ago, I think I found something similar to this and I couldn't understand what it was. Is this supposed to be with this? I'm confused by it. Very confused. I have the same one, and I think, well, maybe it's supposed to go through here, and it's part of this necklace. It's confusing, but that's what I'm going with. But I have another one of these without the chain. A butterfly with a missing stone. Heavy. It's a heavy one. Oh, here's an old watch. Taped together, maybe? Oh, my goodness. 17 Jewel. I can't see what that says. I'm getting so... Oh. I'm going to say Andre Bouchard. Andre Bouchard. 
such tiny writing, my goodness. I think I've heard of the Rochard, but not the Andre part of it. Is it taped or? Ooh, okay. Very old watch, very cool. Don't know what those letters are, but it's an anchor with a flower. Very cool. Gotta research that to find out what it, that is. Um, what is this? A cash register? Let's watch Sally try to get it out of the bag. It's the pin. It's the pin's fault. What does that say? Car, Carlina, come on, it's kind of written scraggly, I don't know, it's a cash register or, no, why would it go like that, oh, um, not a unicorn, <laughs> uh, okay, Oh, wow. Let me just admire the beauty of it while I think of the word. Is it missing stones? I think it's missing one. Shoot. Well, that's not too hard to fix. This is very unique. It's, um, I'll think of it. You know what that I know, you know. Cool. I'm going to place it over here so I don't lose any more stones. Okay. Very dirty necklace. Heavy little pinched squares. Another old watch. Is that pulsar? No. Seventeen jewel. Pesag? Never heard of that one. Never. I can say that with confidence. Oh, man, that was an earring. I totally thought this was going to be a brooch. Let's see what we got here. J? Is that J. Feinberg? That's a new name for me. And that's a big earring. Jay Feinberg. I have to look that one up. Oh, this is cute. It's kind of like faux um, Black Hills gold. But it's adorable. Love it. Leaves. Kind of a rustic leaf pattern. I don't know what that means. don't know what that means. Is those, is it just, does it say two? One? One? Is that how you put it together? I don't know. It's very dirty. A little bit dirty. I still can't think of the word. Xylophone? No. Harmonica? No. Maybe this is something for your hair? Is it to go in hair? Or is it a pin? I don't know what that... Accordion! <sighs> Guess watch. Accordion. Big earring. No name on it. Okay. What is that? Oh. Polo 15. An old earring. 
I used to watch polo games when I was a kid. Believe it or not. A little scary, I felt like. Um, another one of those earrings. Southwestern basketball earring. Just kidding. It's just a um, piece of wood with some lines on it, carved in it. I think the other one might be in here. Yep, I see it. Enamel clip-on earring. Reminds me of the 80s, 90s. Bad, though. Ooh, hot pink, hot pink. Hot pink, Kate Spade. Suggested retail price, $88. That's crazy. $88. I love hot pink. Ooh, I love hot pink. Dare I try it on and pinch myself? I have lost weight, but let's see. I didn't hurt myself. Oh, it's too tight. How do you wear these things? I can have a tiny wrist. Oh my gosh, you can't get it off. Hey, help. Okay, got it. All right. Very pretty. I love hot pink. Love some blingy hoops. These are always good to have. Just throw them on when you want a little sparkle. More of these. I have so many of these in different colors, but... I like them. Who doesn't like a nice big rhinestone? Unfortunately, I don't think I have the other one in this bag. Probably in another bag, but that's a beautiful blue. A Lucinda pin. Yay! This is almost like the other one I had with the two girls and the boys. This is a little boy and little girl. Maybe a mom or an aunt. Oh, another person back there. With an umbrella. I like these pins. I saw the uh, the other day on eBay. It was one of her house pins. And it was a Christmas one. And it was so pretty. It was adorable. All dressed up. Very cute. It's creative. I like them. And the holiday ones. So cool. Halloween ones, Christmas ones. Here's some glass Aurora Borealis. Pretty sparkle. Oh, got more fish. Okay. Chico's. Some glass beads. What looks to be probably artificial turquoise. And some nice enamel fish and um, nice art glass. Chico's. I wonder how much they cost originally. Because a lot of the stuff's very well done. Red dress for, um, I believe it's for heart disease, right? Awareness. These are pretty gold textured with black. Classic. Whoa. Big. Here's the other one. Wow. These are huge. Look at that. Nice. Oh, wait. Spoke too soon. There's the other one. Such a pretty blue. Oh. 
Geneva. If you like that animal pattern look. J.A. Swank. Another one of those earrings. More clip-on. These are the door knocker style. Big. We got two. We got two. Yes. One of these chains in a coppery look. Oh, little flower. Um, perfect fit button. I guess if you lose a button, maybe this helps replace it. You know, if you get stuck. I'm not sure about that. Little earring. Cute. Reminds me of Avon. Here's the other one. Little pink. Little bracelet. I've gotten a lot of these. Some big, some small. I thought maybe it was gold filled, but no. Okay. A little bead. A little ring. Is this a Monet? A little, yep. I have quite a few of those. Copper band, I think, that with the magnets. A bent out of shape. This type of thing. Necklace. And a monogrammed pendant. I don't know why it's open in the back, but cool. Vintage. I think it's kind of not got a good uh, gold coating. It's kind of seems like it's coming off. Okay, about 37 minutes. Let's see what silver we have. I have this, and this is by, I keep forgetting the name. It's Sterling, and I can't remember the name now. Terrible. I'm terrible. Yeah, I know it looks like it says hand, but uh, I can't remember the name now. But um, this person makes a lot of these um, dogwood designs on a lot of different styles. It's hand forged and um, it's very pretty. I like it. This I picked up because I thought it was just... Nice and, and light and not, um, you know, too much going on. It has the stones in there. Some pretty, it's sterling, pretty, um, the purple amethyst. And I love this chain. I love this type of chain. Got this. Pretty blue stones. I'm not sure if it's real turquoise, but it's sterling. Let's see what it says. Um, what does it say? Something cementalic, sterling. And 14K. I guess it's white gold over sterling. It's gold filled or something. Needs a good polishing, but pretty stones. Got this. This, I believe, might be Dan Craft. What was it? Dane Craft, right, sterling. And it's got the, an interesting flower or leaf design. I like it a lot like that. Then I picked up a whole bunch of 18 inch silver chains because I need them. Um, this was a disappointment because when I got home I realized that it was chipped. So 
I'm not sure what to do about that. I, in my not being able to see um, correctly, thought just was an inclusion or something, in which, you know, I don't mind that. But, yeah, big chunk taken out. Odd that it's that color inside, but, yeah, that's okay. Then I got this cute little owl. It's almost like the one, like the chocolate diamonds, but I don't think it is. It's got kind of brown stones in it, sterling with clear rhinestones, and it's got a big tangle, but he's cute. Oh, maybe it's not brown, maybe it's black. Well, my eyes are getting really bad. Either way, it's adorable. This chain I really liked, and it's a toggle necklace, but I love the link. I, I bought it for a sterling, but I still haven't found the mark, but that doesn't surprise anybody, but I gotta keep looking, because you know how I can't see that well. This is really just really luxuriously soft liquid silver, I guess you would call it. Love it. And I got the matching necklace. That is like, it's really heavy. And you wouldn't think so because it's so delicate looking, but it really has some weight to it. It's very pretty. That set. And this was actually tangled in something. It's just a cute little pendant. Sterling. And this intrigued me. I did a little bit of research on it. It's the, um, the Elks. And it's really old. This is Sterling. And I've seen things that say a calling card or... Uh, could be for matches, but I don't know. The one that I saw online uh, said calling card, and it was from the Elks, um, and had it said hello Bill inside of it. And I'm not sure what the calling card thing is, but this has some letters. It is marked H F and Bro Sterling with, I guess, a patent, patented number, yep. Patent number and some letters. I, I wouldn't say it was somebody's initials, but, I, you know, because it's four letters, but it means something, and I will find out. And I'm thinking it went on a chain, a key fob, um, watch fob, I should say. I'm just wondering if this is gold. It could be gold, the uh, elk, but this intrigued me, and I love it. It's so cool. Got to do more research, though. But on that note, I am going to say have a good night, and I'll be doing another video soon, and I'll be doing the giveaway soon, and I appreciate everybody, and all the positive comments and all the helpful because I had no idea about that Welsh elk, Welsh elk, Welsh uh, leek um, pendant. And that's so cool. I don't think I ever would have found that out because I wouldn't know where to search. But thank you very much for all the information and all the subscriptions and the likes and thumbs up. I truly appreciate it, and I will be doing a giveaway. I'm still mulling over what what I should put together, and believe me, I have so much that it won't be hard, but just deciding is hard. So have a great night. Thanks, guys. Bye.